This is Cleanne Jenkins, your Simply Fun Playologist, and I'm here to talk to you about the July specials. So July is Simply Fun's birthday, and so they have a, a lot of really cool games that are on special, and everything is $20 or $25, so that is pretty awesome. Okay, first we have Kayak Chaos. So Kayak Chaos is for ages 8 and above. It teaches planning and predicting. Players play their cards from their hand to paddle down the river or change the river's flow. Draw new river tiles to continue the race. Make it to the finish line first to win. So in this one, you are using your cards to either like move a space forward or you can use a card like this to rotate the river tile. So you can like maybe move a rock in your opponent's way or you can move the swift river currents in front of you so that you can get down faster. And say you get to the end of a tile, if you get where you're going to go and you're going to go off the board, then it's your turn to pick the next tile and you can pick either side and decide which side you want to be there. Um, and then there's lots of other cards where you can like shuffle a tile so you maybe you could shuffle it just enough so that like the swift river is on your side where you're gonna go anyways so that one was a pretty fun game my family really liked that one um next we have tar trackers tar trackers is for ages six and above it teaches spatial reasoning and memory players help their saber-toothed cat complete a scavenger hunt across the tar pit Use your memory to avoid the sticky tiles and be the fastest and win the game. So in this one, you're starting here in the middle and you're moving your player over the tiles and some of them are magnetic. So if you hit one that's magnetic like this and it picks it up, then your turn is over and you're stuck in the tar. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to move your cat through the numbers one through six that correspond. So I would actually have been moving over here once you get there, then you're going to number two through six, and you're trying to collect all your tiles, and on the opposite side of your tiles, they form a puzzle piece, and you get your puzzle all put together, and the first one to do that wins, so that was a pretty fun game as well. Okay, next we have Grill Party. Grill Party is for ages eight and above. And teaches algebra and planning. Players use more than and less than. Uh, they learn more than and less than concepts by placing and swapping food on the grill. Um, so in this game, what we do is you've got these pieces of food that are already on the grill. And you're trying to match your cards and play all your cards and get rid of your cards first. So here I've got most corn and no hot dogs. So what I can do is... I can replace the corn on the grill or the hot dog on the grill with a corn so that I have more corn than anything else. So I've got my most corn and that there's no hot dogs. Then those two cards I can play and then you pull out two other cards to replace those and you keep going until you're all out of your cards. So this one was pretty fun. Um, when my family played it, they got pretty competitive and they didn't want to show your cards because some of the other ones tried to screw the next people up by moving things on the grill, but it was pretty fun. Um, Clover Leap is for ages five and above and it teaches sentence structure and vocabulary. Players roll a sheep symbol on the dice to move their sheep across the board. They roll a clover to collect clover tiles under their sheep. And the one that earns the most points and makes the most sentences is who wins at the end. So we're going to roll our dice. And we got a clover and a sheep. So that means I can move my sheep and pick up a clover. So I can go here and then you pick up the one underneath your sheep. So then you turn it over. And it has a word. And you're trying to make sentences. Um, and they go in a certain pattern. 
and they have little clues that tell you. So like white goes next to blue, blue goes next to yellow, and yellow goes next to red. And so you're making sentences. And if they're funny sentences, it's even better. You make lazy birds. That's pretty funny. Anyways, it was pretty fun. Um, my family really liked it. Okay. Hook them is for ages six and above. And it teaches counting, multiplication, and predicting. Um, players roll the dice to catch some fish from the pond or take them from other players. Choose to bring your catch home or risk it all to keep fishing and increase your catch. Okay, so for this one, you're going to roll the dice. And like here, I would get two, four, five, and then I can times it by two. So I could get ten fish and put them in my boat. Then I can decide if I want to continue rolling and have a chance of making my catch bigger or if I just want to empty out my boat and keep my catch um, and let it be the next person's turn. If you roll, I think it's the river. and Anyways, if you roll the river and some other things, you have a chance of losing your catch. So that's where you have to kind of weigh it out and decide if you want to keep it. Um, the yellow fish are worth one point and the orange fish are worth five. Okay, last we have Stargazer. Stargazer is for ages 10 and above. It teaches strategy, spatial reasoning, and patterning. Players use star cards to create stellar patterns on the galaxy board that match the exact star pattern shown on their gazer card. Player with the most points at the end wins. So here, what we're trying to do is we're using our cards to make this pattern up here on the board. So this card, you can add a star to the board. And like I said, you're trying to match exactly here. So here I'd want to do three and then three spaces and then one over here. But you have to do it with your card. So I, this is add a star. This is you can, uh, let's see. This one is you can take a star away. So say maybe somebody had theirs here. And I needed mine to be there so I could take theirs off. Um, this one is a swap a star. So I could swap mine for theirs. Um, and then this last one. I'm trying to remember what that one was. Um, I think that one's kind of like a wild. So that one is to add or remove an opponent's star from the board. Anyways, so this one there's three levels of cards. This one right here we have is a one point card. You can do a two point card or a three point card, which they're just a little bit more complex patterns. And you go until one of these stacks has no cards left. So this one has five, five, and 15. So if you're going through like the three point ones, the game could be over quickly. If you're doing through the one point ones, it might uh, take a lot longer. Um, but the one that has the most points at the end is who wins the game. Okay, so the only one I don't have for this month is Front Runner. Um, if you want to know about that one, look at the website. And then the other thing that we have this month is if you order over $25, you can add ARG for $5. And ARG is a memory game. Um... It's pretty much memory, and then if you get the parrot, um, then it, like, gives you penalty points, and you get things taken away. Anyways, but to be able to add that for $5 when it's normally $22 is pretty awesome. Anyways, thank you for watching.